Hello everyone. So in today's video, I am here to share with you all my Sephora savings event wish list. This is quite a large list. I'm gonna get that out of the way, but within this, I'll admit, sizable list is a variety of products that I want to review, products that I already know and love and need to restock on, and quite a few like new launches. I'm going to be walking you through all of it, and I'm also going to leave links down below to everything I talk about. Using any of those links does help to support my channel and make a small commission. So to everyone that does that, I want to give a huge sincere thanks. Of course, no pressure to do that, but it does, you know, it helps make these videos possible on my channel. Now, the first item that I have been thinking of getting, and I'm just going to say that I am going to be purchasing a couple of shades at least, is the new Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eye Illusion Eyeshadow Duos. Now, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to wait until the savings event goes live to purchase this because I am a little bit afraid that they're going to sell out and... If you guys know me, you know that I love really beautiful sparkly top coats and eyeshadows in general. But I would also like to get the discount because as everyone is talking about, these are $42 a piece. And I'm looking at the shade still at the club because I am a sucker for a wet, taupey, glittery eye. And I think this absolutely fits the bill. But let me know what shade in specific other than this one that you guys might want me to pick up and review for you you know for me personally i would rather be the one to spend my money and give you guys a really concise review i do want to throw out there that anastasia beverly hills sent me their spice palette i haven't used their eyeshadows in a long time and spoiler alert for my recommendations video, my Sephora savings event recommendations video, it's coming very soon, like in a couple days. I did talk about the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm palette, but after playing with this one today, I'm wondering if I should have recommended this one. It's my first time wearing it, so there's plenty of uh, space for something to go wrong. But there are a lot of sequin shadows in here, which is essentially like a matte shadow with a little bit of a thin sparkle throughout and it gives you such a like, sorry if you hate this word, moist kind of eye look in the most beautiful way. And then this sparkle right here rocks. You know, with my Sephora savings event video, I do have to pre-record that one because it is sponsored. So I am going to include like stuff that I feel like I forgot <laughs> to mention in that video or like adjustments. Like I have a feeling that I'm gonna be using this a lot. You know, the first impression is very, very good. Next up, we have the Dew Instant Angel Lipid Rich Barrier Repair Cream. I have been wanting to try out this moisturizer literally since its launch, and I never did. Now that they are at Sephora and I'm going to be getting 20% off my order, I see no reason to not try it at this point. Especially going into winter, my skin could definitely use some barrier repairing treatments. And this one, I've just heard very, very good things. Definitely think I'm gonna get that one as well. These, I wanna start off with like the products I know I definitely wanna pick up. So if you want reviews on anything in specific that I talk about, please leave me a comment. I wanna actually hear all of your thoughts down below. Like, what products do you want me to review first? What ones do you want? What ones do you want me to pick up? Like, I just want to hear what you're ordering. If anything, just leave me a comment down below. I want to hear you. Next. Now, this one I'm on the fence about. It's Dead Cool Extra Milk. Now, I already love milk, the fragrance, and I'm actually recommending that in my upcoming video. Spoiler alert again. And it's just a really nice creamy base fragrance that you can layer with other ones. But I have heard incredible things about extra milk. Kind of want to do like a side by side and be able to tell you guys what the difference is between the two because I already love milk, but I'm just not, yeah, I just want to know what extra milk is like. I've heard that it is very like your skin, but better, but amped up, which is kind of similar to the original milk. And those are like my favorite scents. So 
that one might be a pickup for me. I'm gonna talk more about some other fragrances soon. I love purchasing fragrances during the savings event because you do get the biggest savings when you buy them during the savings event. So that is a thing. Okay, so the Dior Forever Skin Perf Perfect Multi-Use Foundation Stick as well as the Contour Stick. So I'm considering purchasing both of these, but I could really go either way. I've heard very, very good things about both, but it's kind of just like random chatter. It's not, it hasn't really, it hasn't like fully pulled me in for a purchase. If you really wanted me to try it out, I would get it, but I'm kind of on the fence about both of these items, honestly. I'm also on the fence about the new Huda Beauty Icy Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Color story looks beautiful. It kind of looks like, honestly, Huda Beauty's version of like the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona, which is one of my favorite palettes, you all know. You know, definitely within the top five, if not the top three. So I don't think I would necessarily need this. You know, I already have something very similar in my collection. So this would have to be an item that I do a review on. So that means that you guys you need to give me your feedback on this one. Do you want to see it? I am interested in the sparkles, as you all know. When am I not <laughs> interested in sparkles? I also am tempted by the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Concealer. You all know, me and concealers. I recently tried out the CL concealer and I think I have like another really, really good concealer on my hands for use under the eyes. Actually, today, my face, as far as coverage products, it is only the CL Protect and Conceal. I used it all over as a foundation and under my eyes, and my skin looks so blurred. Very, very happy with it. I haven't used it as like a true, true foundation yet, and very happy. It's such like a nice whipped, spreadable texture. CL just really has been killing it, but okay, anyway. $48 for a concealer is a lot, but if it's really good, you know, that is a price point I am willing to spend on a concealer that is very, very good. Because again, a lot of concealers don't work for me. I would love to be able to find another one to recommend to you all. We'll have to just see on this one. If I don't really see many comments about it, I might just skip. I am so on the fence about the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow Quad. Reason being is I already have a lot of Mundo shadows. I already have their limited edition palette they did last year. A lot of these shades are like, they've already been done. There's like Space Cowboy in here. I mean, this is just one of those things, again, that if you guys really wanted me to review it, I would. I'm almost more tempted by the one that Alta came out with at limited edition Moondust palette, because that one has a mixture of different textures, whereas this one is only basically shades that I already have. So I don't know, you guys let me know down below. The Refi Lip Blur Lip Liner. Uh, okay, this is like made for me, kind of. Like I love a blurry lip liner, but I do like a lip liner, but I want something a touch softer. I already love the lip blurs from Refi. So the fact that I could get that formula, I'm thinking in a sim with just like more precision makes me very excited. The lip blurs or like the lip, the lip blurs from Refi are already such a gorgeous color. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I forgot to recommend that in my video that's coming out soon, which sucks, but I'll leave a link down below to them because I truly love them for the lips and the cheeks. These shades are really beautiful, like to contour the lips and add some definition really nice like cool tone shades so i think for this one i might pick up one i am seeing though in the reviews on sephora that people are having issues with the product like breaking within the tube so there's also a chance that i just uh skip it until they figure out that issue now i told you guys that we were going to talk more about fragrance this is the fleur best sellers mini deluxe perfume trio this is like kind of the perfect gift. I'm very tempted to get it for someone in my life that I think would really like it. I'm not gonna say who, just in case she is watching this video, but I love all three of these mini fragrances. They're also so good to be able to like throw into your bag, your car, 
your pocket, whatever, because, because they are smaller. So you get vanilla skin, missing person, and father figure. Father figure and missing person are my favorite, but I also really like vanilla skin. So those are like holy grail fragrances. They're not like, oh, those are good. No, like I have an intense love for them. I also see this gift set that I might pick up of the Living Proof Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo, another product I'm probably going to be recommending in that video. Actually, I know I already did. To be able to get two for $42 and then also get savings on top of that is ideal because this stuff is freaking fantastic. It is the best dry shampoo I've ever used. And if you are someone that is on the fence about trying it and you always have wanted to i'm just gonna say it has been like a game changer for me and this set is pretty attractive the set from color wow is also really attractive to me because i'm essentially getting a travel size with this and also getting my savings on top of that it's my favorite heat protectant and it gets my hair so shiny without any weight totally completely worth the hype Okay, let's talk about hairbrushes. Hairbrushes, a really good hairbrush that is not going to cause breakage can be expensive. I have one from Sonia Kashuk that was apparently a dupe for the Mason Pearson, but it was discontinued. I bought like multiples when I realized it was being discontinued, but that was like 10 years ago. I am considering buying the Mason Pearson brush, but I'm also considering some brushes during the savings event. The one from Crown Affair, the one from Dry Bar, or the one from Orbe. If you have used any of these and, and you really enjoy them, please leave me a comment down below. I'm also going to leave links to all three of them down below. Abby Young, who I absolutely love her channel, she swears by the Orbe as far as like the closest thing to the Mason Pearson, but it's sold out and it is always like notoriously sold out. So it makes me less likely to purchase because also if it's always sold out, then you guys wouldn't be able to get it anyway. So then I would be talking about a product that you guys wouldn't be able to get and that's annoying, <laughs> like clearly. So just leave me all your comments down below. All of these are more expensive, but honestly, a good hairbrush I'm willing to invest in. And I also think I am definitely going to be purchasing the Josie, the Josie Marin Bohemian Fig Argan Oil Firming Body Butter. I have been on a bit of a fig kick. My Caudalie Smooth and Glow Elixir smells like the most beautiful fresh figs. So I've been using this out of the shower and then layering it with Father Figure, which is a fig scent definitely a little bit sexier and like has more depth than the Caudalie does. This is a little bit more green and fresh. This has such good reviews, this Bohemian Fig Butter. Let me know down below if, if you have tried it. And also there is a set from Josie Marin, so I would be able to smell a bunch of the body butters. I don't know, I've just been really getting into like my body smelling nice. And I've heard the texture is really good. So I think I'm going to pick up this or the set or both, or, you know, I don't know. That's one that I am pretty set on. Oh, and this is something that I am really glad that I remembered to tell you all. There's also a clean perfume sampler set with a redeemable voucher um, available. I know that this one is probably going to sell out or I can imagine it selling out and extra milk is within here. So if I do purchase, I would much rather purchase this than just the than just extra milk from Dead Cool because I get to try out all of the other ones within the sampler set. If you're not familiar, Sephora does do that. They have these sampler sets. You get to try out a bunch and then you get a voucher for your favorite, which is kind of the best way to try a fragrance in my opinion and really good if you are, you know, giving this to a friend or, you know, someone for gifting. Speaking of the body, L'Occitane, their almond oil, for the shower, this is like, if you have very, very dry skin in the winter, this is kind of a game changer for the shower. It's so good for like shaving. It keeps my skin super, super soft. You know, like when your skin is so dry, you don't even want to put like body wash on it because you know it's going to feel like stripped. 
this is what I would reach for in that kind of situation. Also, I love just like putting a little bit in the tub when I'm taking a bath. It smells divine. So I would like to pick that one up. I always like to have that one on hand when I can. The Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. How have I not tried this? I think I've tried it like here and there. I think when I've seen Kelly Gooch, like I've I've taken a little bit of hers and tried it, but I haven't given it like a full run for its money. I'm going to pick it up. I am going to try it. It's finally happening. And I probably need to place my order like pretty soon after the savings event goes live because this one always like notoriously sells out because apparently a lot of people really love it. I am also interested in the Colfi Zari Eyes Sona Sona shade. This is a new shade to them. Really gorgeous like champagne sparkle and I really love this formula and I think a lot of you will really enjoy this formula if you don't like a lot of fallout because, because these shadows from Colfi are known for being very long wearing. So I might also pick that one up as well. You know, we're just gonna have to see. And that's everything that's in my cart. Now, again, things could go in, some things may come out, but I wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna hear what you guys want to see me review and pick up. I'm also going to leave my full face of makeup that I have on my face already because a lot of these products I am going to be recommending in my Sephora recommendations video. So it'll, so it'll be a nice little preview for you guys. And overall, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.